Capuchin. I think the prayer life is the foundation, the very foundation of our life, you know, the glue that keeps us together, you know. Prayer has to be the basis of everything that we do. I think we spend time commonly in, in meditative prayer and contemplative prayer as well as in the, the more kind of formal liturgical prayer. And we're doing those things together. And I think that that's a, that's a really important sort of element of our life. Because what we learn in, in those moments, what, what comes to us, what graces we receive, we're meant to go out and share. And, and, um, and I think that that dynamic is really important in our life. The community prayer is based on the divine office, which is the, the prayer book of the, of the church the whole church and uh, we, we, we live by that so we we have a, a daily pattern of the office of the hours as they say you know there's, there's often for the morning office and the the midday office and the evening office and night prayer you know and from that uh, a lot of our other spiritual prayer derives and we start here at 7 30 we come down and we go through the, the morning office to celebrate that as a community. Before then, the Blessed Sacrament is exposed on the altar, so we're centred on Christ, who is in the Holy Eucharist. But we're, we're quite keen on Eucharistic adoration, on praying before the Blessed Sacrament. Uh, I think that's, that's something that, to a certain extent, goes back to St. Francis. You know, he had a great devotion to Jesus in the Eucharist. You know, but for me, about the Eucharist, you know, I, I told the people again and again during Mass, we need the Eucharist. I need the Eucharist on a daily basis to help me to, to live this day and to live the way the Lord wants me to live. I think the uh, two distinctive things I would say probably about Capuchin prayer, one is the, the general idea of what they call mental prayer, spending quite a lot of time in silent prayer. And it's just standard in our Ferraris that we'd have a total at least of an hour of just silent prayer together as part of the day. That's just an hour of pure silence. And that is a very strange experience. It's very hard to describe, but uh, if you've ever tried being in silence for prolonged periods, you'll know that eventually the dust in your brain slowly settles and then real things start to happen. You kind of just enter that silence and, and you, you you don't quite know what's going to arise. Uh, you're listening. And maybe the first thing is that you realise that God's listening. The silence is the beginning of my spirituality. We start together from the church, from the choir. Um, then it just goes outside. You know, it's something like emanation, you know pouring out. And I'm just reflecting on the scripture that day, what the Lord is saying to me through that scripture. Uh, and sometimes you may think, great, that's good. But other times you think, uh oh, he's chastising me, he's correcting me, he's, this word is for me, you know, I haven't quite uh, lived up to his expectation yesterday or the day before. For me, it's just being open and speaking to him. I never a heart to listen to his voice. And also, I think, the way that we are, I think, speaks of a life of prayer, I think. And um, I think that when people meet us and realise, maybe, that, that the way that we are comes out of our life of prayer, that's a great witness, I think. 